Welcome everybody to the Tuesday, July 5th meeting of the Conway Select Board. Call the meeting to order. First item on the agenda, vote to approve the minutes of June 27th. Our last meeting, this is first real meeting, right? Second meeting. They look, Second. Yeah, they look at me, so yeah, I'm going to approve them. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Next item is um, the warrants. We have four of them payable accounts, payable warrant for $133,935.81. And another accounts payable warrant, W2302, for $154,149.81. A payroll warrant. For one hundred and eighteen thousand three hundred and five dollars and seventy three cents, and a payroll deduction warrant for twenty eight thousand three hundred and forty five dollars and six cents. Do we have any problem with any of those? I don't have any questions. Two, three, four warrants. Second. In favor. Aye. 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 So shuffle the few categories around. Why not? Meetings attended by select board members. Chris, none since the last. Yep, none since last week. Pick the we picked the lottery. So the that's yes. the how the Habitat for Humanity. Um, it was time to select the winner, the winning applicant. Oh. And they had what, 12 or something. And they have 28 total and then 20, six that qualified. Yeah, six that made the final, final cut. And they were from all over. There was some from Springfield, um, Conway, Holyoke, Deerfield, and everything. So it um, seemed like a nice cross section of human diversity and uh, experience. So just, just from the visuals that I have. Um, and then I, I thought, you know, I, I was. One time, I, a professional Santa Claus for two years, and I did still have my Santa Claus hat. And I thought, I thought bringing my Santa Claus hat to pick the numbers out of it because it'd be like Christmas for everybody. Yeah. But I showed up with my Santa Claus hat, and they said, "Oh no, this is a non-empty mouth. Never hold it." We had, we had, you know, Muslim families do it. That that's just not appropriate. So luckily, there was that like ancient, dusty, dirty coffee can there. Um, and so that's what I so we selected the numbers out. And um, they're supposed to do a press release. It was anticlimactic because they, they you're just picking numbers and they didn't have the, the people watching didn't know which number was theirs. Oh, yeah. And they so and there was no name attached to it. So it was like, hooray, number 104, you've won. Um, and they're supposed to have a press release with who the actual winner is. And they signed all the papers and all that. It's, awesome. it's a lot to it. But we picked all through six, so that, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. But someone will be, we will have new neighbors this year. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so that was, that was interesting. And then, uh, well, we went to that, we went to the firehouse and met all of our legislators. That was, we all did that. Yes. 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 Oh, did you cover that last time? Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Because um, we're still meeting weekly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I feel like ages ago. That's right. So, public comments, see none, unfinished business, none, new business. Uh, we have a request from the Parks and Rec Department to reduce the number of voting members to five. Yes. Um, and, or or confirm. We can. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I would be really surprised if they ever had more than five voting members. I think back when it was the Conway Sports and it joined with part, I think there was up to eight at one point, and I don't know if it ever got sorted uh, out. So they just be, wanted to just never do an even number that just that leaves you institutionally yeah. incapable of dealing with a split decision. Right. Um, uh, so they were happy with five. And and that would affect the quorum too. So they only had to yeah, have three to have quorum. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And to drop trails from the name, which would make things easier for sure. That way there's not two committees, but trails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the other one? The trails. 
forest and trails, forest and trails. Okay. Yeah. the newest committees. Um, so make a motion to reduce the number of voting members or confirm that the number of voting members at parks and rec committee is five and that they would drop the trails from their name. I second that. So all in favor? Aye. The most important part, um, and I did not anticipate it 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Um, this is with respect to, well, we still call it 69 Main Street because that's the address of the property. This is actually the portion of that parcel that is not 69 Main Street. It's the Academy Hill Road facing parcel. Um, but we need to we need to change. Actually, I'm going to actually hand this over to Eric to Bronny, and she will explain exactly um, what it is that we're doing. It, it was a clerical error. So on the both the order and the notice of taking, it said yeah, it said um, 4.3 acres. The problem is it's the the easement is only on the back lot lot one of. It's 102 on the assessor's map, uh, 2.1, sorry, um, which is only 3.41 acres. And the easement is only on that portion of 3.41 acres. So all the board needs to do is just vote to accept the clerical change of 4.3 to 3.41, and we're good to go. So um, that's, what, that's what we need to do. And then we can move on, but actually time is important, and that's why we needed to do that this week. Yeah. Right, and we instead need to we the signs this week. And we, we, couldn't, so we couldn't actually wait till next week to do this. Yeah, that's why we had this yeah. meeting today. You don't need to sign anything. You're just voting to approve, oh, okay. and right. the town so council's okay. office will make that change and send it out, and, and the check will be ready. And have so, yeah, so we're, we're voting to confirm that the acreage correction on the order of notice and the order of taking um, is is not it's not 4.3 acres it's 3.41 acres so that's our that's our motion and so so I'll make that motion and I'll, I'll second all in favor aye, aye. Yeah. Yeah. Town administrator update. Slowly. So, select board member comments, concerns. Um, it's with sadness that we hear of the passing of you know, four years, George. Four years. Uh, you know, yeah, well, Pam is amazing. And friend, classy Kelly. Obviously. Um, and George is. Now he's on the planning board. He's on uh, historical society. He's the spearhead, the, the one really doing so much of the labor for the Stone Cottage project, for the Church project, and uh, everybody at that facility is torn up about it. So uh, we know with sadness the passing of another company in it. In mail, there's nothing really announcements. I will announce that today is my child's 21st birthday. Yes, I knew that. Your child. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and, and you know, it's funny. I, this is one of those moments that you, uh, when they're born, you the, one of the things you fast forward to is, oh, when they're 21, I can't wait to buy them their first drink. But then 21 comes in like the and they've worked in the restaurant industry for right. years. Right, and you bought them the first drink years ago. <laughs> first <laughs> leave that drink. Yeah, right. But there, this is <laughs> yeah, and so um, there's basically it doesn't. It's, it's, it's still a milestone. It, it, yes, a that. milestone, yeah. but not nearly the one that you protected all these years. Yeah. Let's see. But uh, yeah, we're going to it today. Mark the occasion by heavy day drinking early on. So I'm proud. Wow. Way to go. Way to go. Um, the next meeting is so this is something that I wanted to talk about because 
we the next meeting we 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 need to switch to the oh, every other week. Otherwise, every meeting is like this, ten minutes long. Right. right. But do we want to? So it, it, the, my question to both of you is the about the warrants. Do we want to set these up so that the warrants are handed to us completed just an hour or two before the meeting, or do we want to do that on an off? So, so that in theory, there's time to go into the office, sit down, and, and uh, learn about them more. And I think, yeah, it wouldn't matter that much. No, no, no. I just I wanted to mention that I did speak with Mike about this yes. issue and, and I had a chance to, to catch you up on it. But technically, the warrants are not legal until they're signed. Right. So, and so, but Wednesday is the day that they should go out. So, if they're, we're on a warrant week right now, but you could hold off signing them. Until Wednesday to give yourself time to two days to review it. The vote isn't the legal yeah. part of the signature. The, and, and what happened just from past experience that it sometimes to answer a question requires a department head to come in and explain themselves. And there have been specific, you know, and I'm not like this would never happen in real life, but if you see on a warrant um, employee hot tub, like something <laughs> like that. Like you would need a department head to come in and explain why we need a department. And there would not be see, yeah, yeah. So, so like but the flip side is the vendors would be delayed in paint just to well that's they're already delayed. It's they're dealing with the town, it's 30 days, 60 days, they're lucky to get paid within a calendar year. <laughs> but I, I know ever that would mess it. I guess it probably would. Pops and sprockets, but um, that you know, I, I it never it until we had a town accountant that did this that that whose work day was Mondays. This was never like the town accountant's work day used to be Fridays. I remember, and and I tried to see if we could do an adjustment, and it doesn't work because of the, yeah. Matter of fact, we were lucky to get these today because he did two towns worth in one day. Because we are, we always have a Monday holiday. We're on Mondays. It just makes right. it very difficult. Um, so, but I did talk about switching the day, and it just doesn't seem possible. Anything that would offer more time to review would be helpful, I think, mm -hmm. to me at least. <laughs> I, I'm totally amenable because I feel like those times when questions come up. I mean, worst case scenario, and we just don't, you know, like that's the point at which a payment is delayed, right? Because we have questions. Otherwise, I don't know what's wrong with him either way. I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, so we would need to meet again next Monday to mm -hmm. get the two week cycle started then, mm -hmm. um, or, or else wait three weeks. But um, if we wanted to. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Okay, because then you would switch it. Okay. We would switch it so that the. Warrants are in an off so that we're meeting on and the off week on the the off warrants. week between the warrants to get to, to make the warrants but, the I mean, there are focus times of that our we, meetings. Right. Which is I, I have no history, so I'm I mean, you know, I, there, you one, 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 one of the weird things is how many questions you get about like specific things that are going on with specific departments. And um, you know, everything from Something got painted, something got like moved from where it was, something got rented, something got, uh, you know, is there that wasn't there before. And all of these things are actually reflected in the warrants, but um, the, the question, I don't know, this, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. People start asking you these things. Like, yeah, I mean, and I feel like that's always gonna happen, but it's, I mean, we know that there, I mean, we've approved the town budget these are legitimate expenses i mean we know that they're you know bills that have to be paid i feel like if there's a question we can always go back and say well that should have come out of a different account or you know all it's right. i mean I, I would rather not hold up <laughs> all right you know payroll and vendor payments and ha having just said that i really don't have to start <laughs> if i was going to lean in one direction it would be um, and and I don't feel like I've like I've never um I don't feel like I've there's been a situation where I haven't had adequate time to 
you know, make a decision. I mean, you know, a couple questions that I've had, it's, it's not ever been a situation where, where I'd want to hold up a payment. All right. All right, so keep it the way it is. And we'll see each other in two weeks. And that date is the 18th. Right. Okay. So I don't mean to be a pain and extend the meeting. I just have a question. <laughs> so it's our yes. <laughs> <laughs> our, our <laughs> last meeting was primarily about the carbon credit. Yes. The meeting ended. Yeah. I'm just knowing, I'm just wondering what do we do from there? Um, you know, so we want to keep this program going. You know, they had the Yeah. And so I might be. I do have an email in to um, Robert O'Connor about that, asking him what is the next step for getting into the this feasibility study. If that's what you mean. Yeah, so the, that's the, yes. the head of the DCR section of the state DCR agency that awarded that grant initially. Um, this fellow by the name of Bob O'Connor, and uh, he was very strongly in favor of this project, and he actually invited me to address like. The state in this grants for good presentation that had like 500 people on the Zoom call um, five months ago about it. And he was just talking about how he can't wait to fund the next part of it. Mm -hmm. And at the time, based on an earlier presentation by Mary, my impression was the next stage was to do a single integrated forest management plan to take the Conway Forest Town integrated management plans with the numerous other land owners. That have already done something similar mm -hmm. but now mary says that it's already changed you don't need to do that anymore and the next thing is an actual feasibility study to um, identify with particularity exactly who our vendors could be but basically um, once people are signed up it's gonna it's the it's gonna be a lot closer less time to actually get the product to a marketplace where somebody could bid on it and monies could be generated Mm -hmm. So um, the next step is feasibility study, which would be the basis to like just follow the instructions in that to just convert that study into like a roadmap for what we're doing next. Right. Um, and, um, and that is uh, so. So we put in the request to for another uh, an indication. We put in phone calls and uh, emails to Bob O'Connell, say hey ready for the next step. Here's Mary's completion of the previous step. It's a great work product mm -hmm. and um, whatever. And it turns out that Bob O'Connell is in the process of retiring. Um, <laughs> yes. um, and um, so he's, yeah, so he's getting the next person caught up to speed in this whole project. So, but I'm hopeful that, you, that I don't ever remember a situation where the person from the state agency says, I love your project so much, I can't wait to keep funding it. So, um, yeah. you know, so, and, and they specifically were just fascinated with the public private, both in the same project, mm -hmm. the one that's super hard. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so that, but that, yeah, so that's the next step as far as I know. Did I miss anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll hear back soon. But I am. I am keen to keep that going. It's been a few years now. Yeah. We've done a lot. And also we did want to reach out and touch base with our former possible partners in Williamstown and New Ashford. Um, and New Ashford uses Williamstown City Services. Williamstown is an actual city. Um, and um, and they, Williamstown has economic development officers and the, you know, assistance to the assistance and things like that. They have an actual, they have big taxpayers. Well, Williams College doesn't pay taxes, but they have, yeah, yeah. they have money. Yeah, it's a, well, they, they have money. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they have, um, they will not, New Ashford has three private property owners, each with over a thousand acres. Oh, geez. And um, Williamstown, has three town forest parcels. Right. Yes, and uh, two are in New York State and one is in Vermont. Um, and each of them, one of them alone is, the one in Vermont is like 3,000 acres. So 
Um, and, and I know they have not been doing what we've been doing and they were waiting for us, but they, um, we'll, we'll see, but we, we will be reaching out to them and see, you know, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> there was a time when we thought we needed you. And to be specific, I was hunting around for a town that had employees that could be assigned to do things like unlike Conway. Like there's only so much I can ask Veronique to do before she starts throwing things at me. And right. <laughs> and, um, it's, and, and that's true. You know, you just can't pot when people are already busting it and working full time. How much more can you really ask them to do? Well, the question that the answer is a lot, but um, it's bad. So um, originally we thought we needed to partner up with some town that had people that could do the work. Mm -hmm. It ended up us doing all the work anyway, and then piggybacking on us to the extent that they have. And but that's that's they they have smart people there though, and they helped they helped out initially, just getting us getting me and us focused, us at the time being your predecessor. So it's really just, I mean, it's like how we keep this going. It's like just the willpower of, right? Yeah. It's like the way that we have to end up coming there to cure people. Yeah, and yeah. 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 Um, speaking of- and, and, and it was a great, that he wrote a really nice article in the recorder that was in last Thursday's oh, that's, yeah, edition. Yeah, it was a yeah. long article. Mm -hmm. And I thought, He's he, good. I thought he made, sense out of what was a difficult yeah. article to write. I was sitting there saying, how are you going to do this article? <laughs> but, um, you did a nice job, I thought. Yes. Sorry. Yes, go ahead. Uh, well, I just thought of a, a quick town administrator update. Speaking of predecessors, I did go to the small town administrators meeting last Thursday and happened to sit across from Ross Perry, our former interim town administrator who wanted to be remembered to everybody. He remembers Conway very fondly. <laughs> he's fully retired now right or is he still doing interim stuff? he was doing an interim job i do believe now he's decided to make the switch solely to consulting mm -hmm. that's perfect for <laughs> and a wonderful mentor yeah yeah, he was. He was. I told him this was the highlight of your professional career. From now on, it's all <laughs> downhill for you, buddy. Never gonna be like that. That's it. That's it. <laughs> all these other towns, we think our problems are. All these other towns have so much stickier wickets than us. I should send them to enjoy Conway's. Oh um, yeah, I'll send them a T-shirt. <laughs> so. Um, but, but yeah, that was a good question. Let's see. So the next meeting is two weeks from yesterday. It's the 18th. Monday, July 18th, 6 p.m. I would be on Zoom, but I think I already did everything to offer. I mean, if you do need my signature, um, I think I but I did whatever I needed to do to make it so that. Okay, okay, yeah. All right. And I would be do, doing the Zoom meetings from that house that it was really glitchy. I know, yeah, so <laughs> really glitchy. I hope, Camera they got, off. I hope they got a new <laughs> modem. I don't think it's it's vacation. It's not supposed to the internet's not supposed to be great. <laughs> the modem is ancient then. Yeah. Okay, so with that, motion to adjourn. Favor. Yes, we are too.